What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can replace the shell on your Game Boy Advance. So we're going to be replacing this one here. It's actually really easy compared to the Game Boy Advance SP that I did in the past because on that you have to save the hinges. For this here it's just a simple uh, switch, a simple swap. I'm going to be replacing it with the gold Pokemon one here. And you can get these off of eBay. If you're going to get one, I recommend getting one that has the kits that has the screen if you need a replacement screen this one here since it's a limited edition shell i'm replacing it with the uh, pokemon center one so it says that on here it has pikachu down here so i am going to be replacing the screen it has the replacement buttons here and if you're getting one i recommend getting one that has these screwdrivers so this one here is the phillips head screwdriver that you will need and it also comes with the tri-wing one so make sure you get a shell uh, if you're buying a replacement shell, make sure you get one that includes the two screwdrivers. And this one also comes with a replacement sticker for the back of it as well. So what you're going to do, if you haven't already, remove the batteries. You're going to flip it over here. You're going to remove the battery cover. And then there is a screw here. One here, here, up on the top, over here here and here. You're going to remove all of those screws. Okay, now that we have the screws removed here, we can, uh, I am going to be saving these. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using the replacement screws that came with it or not, but these ones here are still good, so I put them off to the side. Now, what you're going to want to do is just take the back cover off, and then inside here, there is two more uh, screws that do have to be removed. There's one here, and one right here on the motherboard. Both of those should be the Phillips head uh, screws. So you're gonna go and remove those two. And now that you have those removed, before you take off the motherboard, there is this clip here that you will have to remove. So on this side here, this little cable will have to be removed. There is a little clip on each side that you do have to unclick and before the cable does come out. So I'm just gonna use the little screwdriver here and you can see it get pushed up here. You're gonna do the other side here as well, just like that. And then the cable should come right up. Just like that. And then you take the motherboard right off and move it off to the side because we are going to be reusing that. Next, what you're going to want to do, I'm just gonna take the buttons off here just because I'm not gonna be reusing them, so they're gonna be in my way in a minute. Now, what you're gonna to have to do is reuse the screen here. The cover on this side, we do have a replacement for, but the actual backlit screen here, we are going to reuse. So with that, you are just going to push around a little bit, trying to loosen it up. Just like that, it is peeling off here, very slowly. And this black uh, strip right here, we're going to be using on the replacement shell. Because that usually you don't get a replacement with. So I'm just going to put that onto this here. Gonna flip this over. I took the buttons off to make it easier. And this part here, we are going to be reusing. So we now have it removed from the screen. I'm actually going to install it onto here first. So just like that, we do have the gasket on the replacement shell perfectly square. Now we're gonna set this down and we're gonna put the screen back on it here. You're gonna wanna make sure the screen is clean, which it is. And you're just gonna reverse the steps. You're gonna go and put it on like this and stick it down. You're going to give it a little bit of pressure just to make sure it sticks on to the gasket here, but don't push too hard. Next, we're gonna put the buttons back in. I'm going to actually just reuse these buttons here because they are in perfect condition. Next, we're gonna be putting the motherboard back in here. So you're just gonna set it down and you do have to plug that cable back in. So just the same way you pulled it out, you're just gonna push the pins back in and then click the uh, clicks on each side down, just like that. And then these little ends here, you're just gonna push in on both sides. And then now you can put the two screws to hold the motherboard in. Now you're just gonna put the back cover on and you're gonna put the screws back in all around it. Now that you have all of these screws back in and it's back together, you're just gonna flip it over and you're going to replace the shell here. 
or the little uh, screen protector. So on this you can actually see, it's hard to tell on camera but there is a little cut out here. You're going to take that out but you're going to leave it's like a gasket around it just like the other one we did and then you're going to push it on to the screen. So just like that we took the wrapper off but you can see there's kind of a clear adhesive screen around it. So you're just going to turn it upside down here and you're going to press it firmly in pushing all of the edges in just to secure that adhesive. Then next, we're going to turn it back over here and we're gonna put the sticker on here. So mine it did come with a replacement sticker. Uh, it's better to get a kit that has everything with it. So I definitely wanted one that had the sticker. I'm just gonna put the sticker on like that, push it on. And then we're going to test it out. So I'm going to put the batteries in here. Test it out. Make sure that it does work and it does turn on properly. Flip it over here and turn it on. Just like that, it is replaced here. It does say power, it's green. Obviously, I don't have a game in, so it's not going to show us. Uh, Take us into anything other than that but as you can see here it does work so that is how you do the replacements of the game boy advance it's actually really really easy to do all you have to do is take out the screws and one thing that i didn't show on camera is i actually used some of the screws that came with the replacements because the shell is made a little bit different whenever i tried to put in the OEM screws, the screws that came with the original shell, I couldn't get them in for some reason. So obviously some of the holes are a little bit smaller. So I did end up using some of the screws that came with it because the ends of the screwdriver, it's hard to tell here, but they started to uh, break because it wasn't able to go in. So definitely use the screws that come with it, but it's actually super easy to do. And it doesn't take too long. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.